Hey everyone, Kevin and Creedon, the man behind King Size Customs here with a box. Now, I know this is hilarious. Um, I'm not going to show the other side, but uh, I got something from John Deere of Canada. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I ordered something. Uh, Michael, this is your video. Uh, just saying... Uh, you know who you are. You asked for an update on my semi-truck collection on one of my previous videos. Now, the funny thing about this is, um, I told you I need to wait. This is that, and you guys will not be disappointed. Unless this isn't what I think it is. I only ordered one thing off of eBay recently, so this should be it. Um, and the person taped up the box really well. So, I understand why you guys kind of get upset with how I do my boxes. Oh, by the way, children, this is a knife. It can hurt you. Use parental supervision when opening a box. Some of you adults probably shouldn't be using a knife. I know you guys think I shouldn't be. Um, my good old box cutter, this blade would pop out of it. And my brother said, it's time to get you a new knife. I found this laying around. Again, theme of my channel, laying around. Uh, and, well, about that, since I found it laying around, um, it didn't have the best of blades in it. So I took the thing apart, put a new blade in it, and then, bam, there we go. All right, guys, I got to do this off camera because there's some shipping information here. So I want you guys getting other people's addresses. Close that since we're done with that pretty much. This side up. They put some nice cardboard, which I'm glad. You know, 20 bucks in shipping. I'm pretty glad that they did this that way. They also wrapped it nicely in bubble wrap, which is awesome. You guys can see it already. I know what it is, but you guys can kind of see the sides of the box. This is something really cool. I've only seen it come up about three times, and this last time was the third time, so. It's got that weird smell, man. Wow. Wow. <coughs> Toy trucker and contractor. Two thousand seven. I think you guys can slightly see it. It's a PEM 2007 National Toy Truck and Construction Show Truck in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, I never went to this, but I think it's a good time to go to if you guys live close enough. Go, because you can get something cool like this. Oh, yeah. And I'm not done there. No, 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 no. I'm not done there. So I'm going to pause the video and come back with some more surprises for you. And this will be unpacked. Now, unfortunately, I live in a space that's very small. And shaky, apparently. No, I live in a space that's very, very small. So I can't give you the full uh, collection. Because I don't even have my full collection of semis on hand. But this is a little smattering. The Jim Palmer Kenworth is an Ertl. This International Tanker Truck is an Ertl. Those are some Hot Wheels. And then there's a Auto World in the background that give you the idea of how big these trucks actually are to scale. Um, now, Ertl kind of changed a little bit. So the Rider Truck, believe it or not, is actually an Ertl. Oh, and this flips up, by the way. 
But um, this truck right here, this blue one, I believe that's an international as well. The yellow rider truck's a Ford. But what I was saying with um, how Ertl kind of changed this Jim Palmer trailer here is all metal. The rider trailer here is plastic. This actually is an Ertl truck trailer, but I the um, the truck behind it is a action. It's either an action toys or one of those NASCAR models. That was sent to me by Derek Morey, and I never forgot about that. That Ertl tanker back there is plastic as well. And then this was what I... I was always looking for a car carrier, but it's a Jada car carrier, so it's out of scale. It's like 155. Um, I'm going to actually come back and move some stuff. That way I can show you something else that I think you've probably seen before. Because you know my channel, you dig my videos. So I'm pretty sure you've seen this. I've uh, had it on the channel once and I got a crazy response about it. So some of these trucks are going to move out. And also too, um, here's a Hot Wheels Honda Civic EF next to that Jim Palmer and behind that green load. So, and then there's a BMW in front of the green load truck. Just to give you an idea of scale. See, for me, I wanted trucks that were all 164. So that's why that Jada kind of, I don't know. Um, that Jada is not really for me. So it's not my cup of tea, but you know, it's a nice display piece. So let me move a couple of trucks out of here and we'll get on with the video. So there's a handsome looking car trailer. This was an exclusive from Facebook. Uh, it's Mark's Toy Box is the Facebook uh, page. And then it's Mark's Toy Box or MRXTBX on uh, eBay. And I think he has a couple of the trailers and tractor trailer combos. Now I had bought this tractor trailer. This is a Kenworth KW100. Uh, there's a story behind it for me. And then there's also a custom one. And I'll leave links to the videos I'm talking about. There's my 20 subs, which has more of the Ertl tr uh, trucks. And then there's, um, if you're new to my channel, I talk about this. Um, and then also there is a custom video where I do a custom one of these, but it's not a DCP. I think it's a White Rose. Didn't really say on the brand. It didn't really say the brand on the truck. So, and it's it's a little beat. It's missing a turn signal, and there's a paint chip on it right now. So, but I got it for like 60 instead of $100 because it was just the truck. Now, if you're wondering how scale accurate they are, I'm going to grab a Hot Wheel, but the, uh, the Mustang on here is an Auto World. The Ford Country Squire is an Auto World. And then the... Uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass is a Johnny Lightning. I'm going to grab a Hot Wheel, another Auto World, and a Majorette. So. This is a Hot Wheel BMW sent to me by Garaja. So there's... And that's it next to the trailer. But next to the truck, here it is if we're going... Uh, size to size, you know, if you want an accurate size comparison, there's a next to a truck, which is pretty accurate for 164th. But again, Hot Wheels isn't completely 164th or precisely 164th. That's too faded out. Sorry, it's really sunny where I'm at and I'm using a light, but here, let's give you a better idea. So that's it compared to the trailer. I'll put it in where the light's a little bit more manipulated here so you can see it next to the trailer. That's it next to the trailer. And this is it next to the truck, which I'd say is dead on because A, this station wagon is an auto world and it's 164. It's precisely 164. 
while the world prides themselves on being exactly 164. So that truck actually is 164th scale. So this is really what I use to compare is Auto World cars. I don't really like Hot Wheels trucks because they're not 164th, but there are some things I can't get away with, like an ice cream truck or <clears throat> a certain SUV. Although, here's another brand coming in. Michael, I don't know where you're from, so I don't know if you get all these car brands. And let me move my big hand. But there's a Majorette. They're not really 164. I'd say they're closer to 155th. Kind of like Jada, but... Here's how that GTR R35 compares to the Semi. And now for the big dog, the main headliner of this event. So I'm going to actually pause the video and pack up the car carrier and bring out the big dog. So... Later. This is awesome. <clears throat> I'm glad I waited and got it when I got it. And then the detail is just impeccable. The other thing is, it has opening doors. I'm a little scared to try that, so. And it has an opening hood. I'm a little scared to try that, too. But let me get off camera real quick and see if I can open up the doors without breaking anything. I'm not going to force it, because, again, expensive model, so. Took me a second, but yes, the doors do open the hood, no. A beautiful, beautiful truck. If I get the hood open, I'll post pictures, but you gotta really get the whole picture here. And my camera really doesn't do this truck justice. The reason why this truck's so special to me is. I drove one of these in American Truck Simulator, and then I lost it because the mod didn't work anymore. But I'm going to actually do one more thing. I'm going to try to... No, I have to do this off camera. But I'll load up the logs in the truck. And then I'll give you some nice pictures of the whole thing at the end of the video. So... All right, guys, stay with me for a moment. And there it is with the logs on. It's just a beautiful piece. So, all right, guys, that's a majority, or not a majority, but that's a smattering of my truck collection. I have an M2 Coca-Cola hauler. I just never took it off the base, and I don't really want to, I don't really want to uh, get that out right now, but it will be on a layout in future when I have a layout. This will be, this will definitely be on the layout and part of it will be, it'll actually be a working truck. It'll be in a logging yard going out of the logging yard. So, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. You may or may not see the Western Star that I drove in a video on, uh, in Truck and Talk Thursday, so. But uh, right now, I'm going to take some pictures of my truck and load them up to Instagram and finish off this video. Later, guys.